Hey guys, we, I am having kind of a mommy day out today, which is like errand time, but it's also a little bit of mommy time. So I'm excited about that. Um, my husband is at work and Hayden is with my grandma. Um, I decided to drop him off there today because I needed to get groceries and I needed to just run some errands and it was just quicker if I could just run in and out of the store. So I have a big Aldi haul for you guys. I spent $135 and some change, and that is with Virginia sales tax. Um, it's not even all up here, so I'm just going to show you what I've got up here first, put this stuff away, and then I'll unbox the rest. So I also want to go to Walmart for just a couple things that I couldn't find at Aldi. And I also am going to Sharp Shopper, a local discount store. Um, they're in Virginia and Pennsylvania. So... um. Yeah, I'm going to check out Sharp Shopper for just some like snacky stuff to put in my husband's lunch and different little things like that. So I'm going to both those places and we'll see. I think I'm going to go to Costco. We're just going to go all over. So come with me today, guys. Sorry if I'm a little shaky at all. I'm using my tripod and I haven't used it for a little bit, so I'm trying to get back used to it. But here is a overhaul of everything I got. So let's start over here. Um, first thing, I got a bag of Hershey's Kisses. I was waiting in line and saw these. I like to have these for baking or even just out in a candy dish. And we're going to try to get our whole rest of our house decorated this weekend. So I went ahead and picked those up for something. I got one of these Glade clean linen little scent things to put in my closet. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes our closet gets kind of like a musty smell. So I like to have those in there and it freshens it up good. Um, back here, I got these adorable little containers. I thought that there's, I think there's three. Yep, and they have the little red truck on them. I love the red truck stuff. And um, they're gifting containers. I thought when I bake cookies this year, they would be great to like give some to my dad, give some to my in-laws, whoever I give cookies to, my neighbor. Um, I might already have a few, so I just got one pack. So I thought those were adorable. Then back here... I just like to have some little cups in the cabinet and I'm getting low, so I picked up some of those. Next thing, I got a little pack of crock pot liners. I can't remember exactly how much these were, but I feel like theirs is a really good price. So I'm gonna be making some taco soup this week to have for dinner and to make some freezer meals. So I wanted to grab that for easy cleanup. Uh, next, I got this chocolate chip broche bread to kind of have alongside like some yogurt and granola or something for breakfast for myself. I don't think my husband really liked that. So that'll kind of be for me. Um, back here, I got Hayden some of the little fruity rounds. They look so colorful and pretty. Um, he loves like Fruit Loops. He likes a lot of different cereals. These are just great to have in little snack cups for going on the road or whenever. And then I got a bag of sandwich bags because I was almost out. I'm hoping their sandwich bags are good. I don't know if I've ever got them from there. Then I got some of the low carb tortillas. I, I like to like make some like burrito, like taco meat and stuff and just make little, um, small easy burritos for myself for lunch some days since it's just me eating them and then back here i got 12 it's a little 12 pack box of these mini bear grams they're like the teddy grams i got them in honey flavored i also grabbed hayden some instant oatmeal variety pack he still has some so there's 10 in there if you guys don't know i try to normally shop for a two-week period so um he loves oatmeal that's one of his favorite things and I got some of these little blueberry muffins for my husband. I am not a huge fan of blueberry muffins. So these looked good. They were pretty cheap. I thought they would be an easy breakfast if he had those some mornings and I had this. Very easy. I got two bags of these potato puffs um, for two different freezer meals. I'm going to make some tater tot casserole for the freezer. This was right when I first walked in in the cooler section, the spinach and cheese manicotti. I have some really good um, marinara sauce right now. I thought that would be a great easy dinner for um, one day when I don't really feel like cooking when my husband's on the way home. So I thought that would be nice. I got this huge eight cup pack of sharp cheddar cheese. This is a two pound bag. This was like less than six bucks. That was a really good deal, I thought. 
I got a bag of this granola, whole grain, oat, honey, and almond. I also got another bag of a different kind to try. So I'm excited to try that. Then back here, I got just a half gallon of milk, a thing of orange juice for my husband. Me and my husband love Ben and Jerry's and it is the holiday season and we are watching Christmas movies. We were watching a Christmas movie last night and this is just fun to have. So um, I got him this Brookie dough, which is funny because my name's Brooke, but um, he loves the brownie and cookie dough mix. So I got him that. And this is the Make Fudge Not War. These are literally like the same kind of ones we buy from Ben and Jerry's and like half the price. I also got Hayden some popcorn chicken. And Hayden also helps us eat our ice cream. <laughs> I got one bag of the super sweet corn. I have a lot of frozen veggies right now, but I just grabbed that just to have. I got one thing of butter. Their butter was a really good price. I got two packs of the French toast sticks, double cinnamon. Devin, lo my husband loves these things. He could eat like a whole box if I would let him in one setting. He loves them. So um, I thought they would be nice like one morning we can have a box like me, Hayden, and Devin. So I thought those would be really nice. And then I grabbed a couple of like easy dinners. This is chicken fried rice that you just put in a skillet. And I got also chicken lo mein. So I thought one night I have some frozen dumplings. So I thought one night I could have this in dumplings. One night I could have this in dumplings. So I have some really good pork dumplings in the freezer. I got Hayden a big bag of goldfish. I was so excited to find that because I had been going to Walmart grocery a lot and the goldfish would be completely wiped every time and my son asked for goldfish all the time. So I was really excited to find a big bag of those. And I got two dozen eggs. So here is that part, a lot of stuff. Let me get this away and I'll show All you right, more. guys, so I got the rest of my stuff out over here. I'm gonna just show you guys, that's the rest of the stuff I need to put away. I'll just show you guys these couple things. I got a case of Coke over there. It is the holiday season and I like to have Coca-Cola in the house. And I just got this pack of like their version. It's compared to Sparkle. I don't go through a whole lot of paper towels. So even though these might not be like the thickest, they'll work. So um, I grabbed some of those. And down here, I got some of their So Soft, uh, their big pack of toilet paper. These are like the Mega Rolls. I bought this when we were all having our toilet paper shortage. This is like $11.25. We really liked this. There is 18 Mega Rolls in there, and this was great. So since I was in there, I went ahead and picked this up instead of Costco. And coming over here, let's start over here again. I got, I needed two of these pans. I did not know they sold these at Aldi. I thought I was going to have to look for these at Walmart. So I was, I was also thinking I would forget them. So I saw them and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to make two freezer meals. So I wanted to go ahead and grab those. Back here, I grabbed a pack of chewy granola bars, a thing of fudge brownies. I am in charge of making uh, Thanksgiving desserts. So what I was thinking this year was making a cake, making brownies, getting a pumpkin pie from Costco, and um, they have a Junior's Cheesecake at Costco that's mixed with carrot cake, and my father-in-law loves carrot cake and cheesecake, so them mixed together, I'm sure, is phenomenal. So I'm going to try to find that today at Costco. So um, not I'm, two of the things I'm not making and two of the things I'm making are kind of easy, but hey, they will be yummy. And... Back here, I got Hayden these Simply Nature Variety Squeeze Packs. There's eight of the unsweetened, unsweetened applesauce, three apple strawberry, and three apple banana. And I did buy him another four pack of just apple banana. So got some of those. Um, back here, I got two things of diced tomatoes, a can of cream and mushroom soup, um, just to have in the pantry, I got Hayden a mini beef ravioli and a pasta ring and meatball and another pasta ring and meatball. Back here, I got a can of black beans, a can of kidney beans, and two cans of diced tomatoes, kind of like their version of Rotel. I got a big jar of peanut butter. They did not have the strawberry jelly like my husband likes. So I'm gonna wait on that, but guys, I go through some peanut butter. Some of the things that I need to get at Walmart is bread, jelly, I'm gonna get my produce, I think at Costco. So um, we'll see about that. All these produce didn't, um, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. So I'm gonna look for like the bananas and everything I get like produce-wise at Costco, maybe some grapes at Walmart, we'll see. 
Back here, I got Hayden three cans of mandarin oranges because he loves those. And then I got a whole little slab of yogurts. I got six strawberry, five peach, one blueberry. These are kind of for my husband and my son and me. And over here, I got Hayden two jars of original applesauce. I would have, these are like pound size jars. I would have gotten even bigger jars, but this was all I saw. There's the other granola I got that's just oats and honey. I'm excited to try that. And I got a box of scallop potatoes to go with dinner one night. So that is my Aldi haul, guys. Let's see where else we end up. Hey guys, I am back in the car. I changed my shirt. I just felt kind of like sweaty from this morning. So I wanted to try to put something else on. So I am heading out to Sharp Shopper now. I will try today to get some little clips in and out of stores if I can. Sometimes when I go in the store, I have such like a one track mind, like I'm like, okay, get in, get out. And I forget to take little video clips. So I will try to remember, no promises. It might just be more of a haul video, but let's go to Sharp hey Shopper. Guys. Sharp Shopper was a success on the snacky foods. So a couple of these things were stuff I had on my grocery list, but some of it was not. So a lot of, most of it, pretty much all of it's kind of junky food, but it was cheap. I like to have stuff like this in our pantry and different things. And so um, a lot of this will last for the entire month. So it'll be longer than just the two weeks. So um, I needed to buy some chips for my husband's lunch and I saw this Wise brand. These I have had before and they are my absolute favorite. They're these honey barbecue baked puffs. Um, there's just like nacho cheese, the um, honey barbecue puffs, white cheddar popcorn, sour cream and onion ridges. There's like some little wavy corn chip that are barbecue and regular barbecue chips. So these will be great just for us all to share over the next couple weeks. Then these were definitely an, Im these were $3.99 guys. Sorry, I forgot to tell you the price. These were definitely an impulse buy. These were only $1.99 and it was a four pack of these Good Humor Oreo little cones. Those look so good. Definitely was grabbing those. These for $3.99 was an eight pack of these pizza snacks. Um, I've had these Tostitos pizza stuffers before. They are really good. And for $3.99 for all eight of these was a great price because I bought them before at Walmart and it was like probably almost that price for like a four pack. So this was a great deal. I thought these would be great just to have for some easy lunches for myself over the next couple weeks. I just have one with some other little stuff with it. And then back here... They, I know I just bought some similar to this of the Aldi brand, but these were the Quaker Big Chewy Bars. These were only 99 cents. My husband loves those. So does my son. So I went ahead and grabbed those. I got myself a big box of Frosted Flakes. That is my favorite kind of cereal. It was only $2.99. Also, which is a good price for the family size. Down here, this was my first time seeing these in the store, was the little Little Debbie Christmas tree brownies. These are two for four dollars. I just got one. I really wanted to grab these because this year at none of the stores I went to, um, I could never find the pumpkin brownies. So I saw the Christmas tree brownies and I had to get those. Then these were a dollar nineteen. Um I love that Aldi puts, not Aldi, Sharp Shopper puts the prices on everything because it's easy to tell you guys. Um, so I just grabbed a box of these storage freezer bags. I needed a couple freezer bags. Back here, I got these little Captain Crunch treats, these peanut butter crunch granola bars, 99 cents. Nice for just the pantry. I went ahead and grabbed this Edwards peach cream pie to put in my freezer. They have this frozen. I'm going to pop it in the freezer for, um, oh yeah, it says keep frozen, to pull out for Thanksgiving. So my friend for her little girl's birthday party, she had gotten an apple cream one from there that was really good. And I saw this peach cream and I thought this would be so so good at Thanksgiving. So uh, this was only $2.99. That's one of the desserts. I'm going to pop that in the freezer. Then back here, this was from Meyer, um, but they had it at Sharp Shopper. It's limited edition Campfire S'mores trail mix. So I don't know. That was just screaming to me. I needed that. And then I love like this is like a whole box you'd find at like a gas station. Um, these are the Cocoa Puff Treats King Size little um breakfast like cereal bars and they were if i can find the price anywhere guys back here 2.99 for this whole box so how many is in here 12. i love to have these 
something easy my husband can grab. Love to have those. Then I got these for Hayden. These are the Captain Crunch Oops All Mega Berry Snack Pouches. My friend Brittany from Portillo Party of Four um, had these at her house the other day, and I got she gave me one for Hayden. Hayden loves these. So there was 12 of them in there for 99 cents. I probably should have bought a couple boxes of those for the pantry just to have. But that was my little snack sharp shopper haul. Hey guys, I just got some gas at Costco. I am at Costco and it is packed. Um, I should definitely have known that on a Friday. I was kind of figuring that um, Fridays are normally packed. But yeah, so I just got some gas and I'm going to go into hey Costco. Guys, here's a quick little Costco haul. I got my husband some of these little 32 heat two pack undershirts um i got four pounds of grapes a bag of rolls for a thanksgiving dinner we're going to tomorrow i got a tub of cookie dough just to have at home for the holidays some bananas and an apple pie for dinner tomorrow and i got a book of stamps so i spent like 105 dollars and some change hey guys yeah so i i didn't mean to say a book of stamps i got like an entire i think it's like five books of stamps and it was 57.75 i wanted to get some holiday stamps because when I go home, I'm going to grab my Christmas cards. I've already filled my Christmas cards out. And um, I'm going to drop all my Christmas cards in the mail since the mail's been kind of slow. So, um, yeah, I only got seven things, but I spent $105 and some change because the stamps were almost $60 by themselves. So, um, I am going to leave from here, and it is packed here. <laughs> it is so busy in there. I'm going to leave from here and go to Walmart Grocery. I need to grab some diapers and just like a few little odds and ends that I they didn't have at Sharp Shopper and they didn't have at Aldi. So, I know it's like, it's crazy. This will be my fourth grocery store, but... I just, I really wanted to kind of just get out and about today. I haven't had a lot of like mommy time and you know, as moms like grocery shopping, it's a little bit of mommy time. So I'm going to go to Walmart and then I'm going to run these groceries home and that should be all of the cold stuff that needs to go home. Um, we are going to a family Thanksgiving dinner with um, my side of the family this weekend. And then one Thanksgiving will be with my husband's side of the family and a couple of my family members, like my mom's going to go and some stuff like that. So yeah, so I got the pie and the rolls for tomorrow because we have Christmas photos in the early afternoon tomorrow. So I won't be able to cook anything. So I grabbed some rolls and an apple pie. Cause I could not fit, I kinda want something that does not have to be refrigerated at all and can be in my car and just take to my aunt's house. So um, yeah, so we are just busy. I tried to find the carrot cake cheesecake. They didn't have it anymore. They had a pumpkin cheesecake from Junior's which looked delicious. I might get that later on, but I wasn't that pressed about getting it because the Costco pumpkin cheesecake is bigger and it's cheaper than the juniors so um I wasn't really pressed about getting that today so I got everything okay, else guys this is the last grocery haul of the day I love to grocery shop but even I am exhausted I have been to Aldi Sharp Shopper Walmart and Costco um the other places I want to go today is Target and Hobby Lobby so we will see what we find there but um I wanted to show you this really quick just small little fill-in haul at Walmart these were just a couple things that I didn't want in big quantities at Costco I couldn't find at Sharp Shopper and I couldn't find at Aldi so I spent at Walmart $61.16 and the only reason it got to be that much was because I bought some di a box of diapers over there that were um $16.17 so that was $16 of it so over here, I got a can of refried beans, a can of corn, a can of beef broth, and a can of pinto beans. These three are for soup. These will be like mixed in with ground beef for my lunches. Um, I got a pack of taco seasoning and a pack of ranch seasoning, a small little pack of yellow rice, a container of sour cream. I got a thing of jelly in there. I got a four pack of diced pears for Hayden. He loves those. And I got a little box of these French toaster sticks he loves. I got myself some iced coffee, just one for now. They unfortunately did not have it at Sharp Shopper. Sometimes it's marked down there and it's 99 cents, um, the Starbucks. But I just bought regular Stoke. I got a bag of Monterey Jack cheese, two loaves of bread, and... 
we'll just kind of unbag this together. I got a thing of jumbo uh, cotton balls to change my wax. I got some cotton rounds for cleaning my face, some flushable wipes, a thing of deodorant, um, just a VO8 Kiwi um, shampoo. I forgot to pick up my Shea Moisture at Costco. That's okay though. I just grabbed that to fill in and a small little container of Dawn because I have some Scentsy dish soap coming. So that was it from Walmart. So let's see guys, I'm going to put this away. The part that is so tiring is carrying everything up to my house by myself. Normally I have my husband's help. I miss you, honey. I miss grocery shopping with you. So let me put this stuff hey guys, away. I quickly ran in to Bath and Body Works. I had a free coupon that my grandma actually gave me. I'm not sure why I don't get coupons in the mail, but my grandma normally gives me hers. So I had a free coupon and I really wanted a Christmas scented body wash. So I got a little shower gel in the scent Winter Candy Apple. This was completely free. So definitely worth running into Bath and Body Works. So really excited about my festive shower hey gel. Guys, the last store I just got out of Target. I spent like around like $35, I think it was. My receipt didn't print out and the guy couldn't get the self-checkout to give me a receipt. So I just will show you guys what I got. I picked up these big rolls were only $5. Um, and I was going to go to Hobby Lobby and get Christmas wrap, but for five bucks here, I sent my husband a picture at work and I was like, do you like this? And he liked it. We do everything together, so I always check with him. Um, so this is really pretty. It looks very like just classic Christmas. It says Merry Christmas on little Rees. And then I got some buffalo plaid to go with that. I love buffalo plaid, so I thought those would be pretty together. And then I have some fun wrapping paper for Hayden. I have like some Christmas sharks that I normally do. I still have leftover from last year that I'll do his in. And then I also got for a little treat, I got a little Russell Stover's Marshmallow Santa. And I got another box of lights. I needed one more box of lights to do our tree. And then I got a $10 Christmas star. At first, when I was looking at the stars, I didn't think I was going to really find any that I liked. And luckily, I found this one, and it was only 10 bucks, and it lights up. So my Christmas star and all my lights, like the Christmas star was kind of like flickering and my lights, like half the strand was out and we just like threw this stuff away because we had had it for like four different Christmases. So that's all I got today, guys. I'm going to go pick up my son while there's some daylight. I think me and my grandma and my son are going to get some dinner. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.